Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to ARK Invest Daily in 5 minutes or less. Today is February 25th edition. And uh, we're going to be talking about the highlights today in ARK's trades is that they more than doubled their shares in air taxi company called Archer. And we'll go over the numbers in a bit. And they continue to invest in Vuzix, which is a smart glass company. And then uh, also bought a lot more Twitter. And perhaps because uh, Twitter, they are trying to make Twitter a paid service as well and are trying to double the revenue soon is what I've heard, the news that I've heard. And in terms of um, uh, decreased position, they have uh, reduced a lot of sales force, almost got rid of it. Uh, Snapchat continues to be reduced and Alibaba as well. So see you on the other side. A like and subscribe would be great, guys. Thank you. Welcome back, guys. This is our summary. Let's take a look at the trend today. Again, not a good day at all in the market, especially for ARK going down in value about 6.7%, going down to $51.2 billion. Um, so, yeah, it continues to plummet. As you can see, the trend not looking good. Um, but I'm sure they have some tricks up their sleeves. They are investing strategically so that ultimately when it comes back, it comes back big. So in terms of uh, number of companies, uh, the total uh, overall trend continues to go up. They continue to diversify. At the same time, past three days have been quiet. Um, this was when they removed Honeywell. It went down from 265 to 264. And then uh, yesterday we saw ad one company added and one removed. And then today they are keeping it same. There is no movement today at all. No company new or uh, any non-new, no company removed as well. So in terms of ETF, this is the overall uh, pie chart that we see. Uh, there's going to be a new company, a new ETF added, which will be Space ETF. Hopefully I'll break the news here on this channel. Uh, showing you the updated pie chart with uh, how much uh, slice of pie uh, is taken up by Space ETF. I'm sure it won't start big. It probably would start like print and Israel and become bigger later. Uh, but uh, other than that, it continues to remain the same kind of spread. Innovation leading, followed by genomics, followed by next generation web, fintech, robotics, print and Israel. In terms of ranking, Tesla continues to be number one, Teladoc, followed by Tala and Square and Roku. Um, and uh, our favorite, let's take a look at Nano Dimension and also Bitcoin, actually Grayscale Bitcoin is at 40 right now. It dropped to 40 looks like and Nano Dimension, let's see um, where it is. Nano Dimension generally is uh, somewhere here and yeah, 82. So it was 79 yesterday, went down to 82 today. Not such a great day in the market today, guys. So yeah, that's what we see. Let's go to biggest moves. Uh, this is what most people are interested in. What did they buy? They more than doubled their position, more than 100% in the Atlas Crest Investment Corp, which is a SPAC uh, merging with Archer um, Air Taxi Company. So yeah, uh, they think that's the future. Followed by Twitter, a lot more shares added there because uh, Twitter is trying to double their revenue by 2023 or 2024. I'm not sure, but uh, they're trying to come up with the paid service too. And that's how they want to double it. Woozy, so that's a um, smart glass company. We continue to see uh, they keep on adding more and more shares to it. Right now sitting on 1 million shares uh, of Woozy. Now followed by Skills, um, again, really good company. They have been adding to uh, adding positions since ever and today they added even more as it went down. Baidu, Signify Health is one more company they keep on adding. Baidu, they added, they bought the dip. Then um, you have CM Life Sciences, again, they keep on buying. So um, if you are new to this channel, um, let me take you through the format a little bit. These are our biggest moves. I changed the threshold based on the moves on that day. So today the threshold is 9% and we take a look at number of shares changes from yesterday. From yesterday to today, if, there, if it is more than 9% right now, it will show up in this uh, chart. Uh, I change the threshold every day just to make sure this is consumable. And as I hover over each of these, it shows the trend of shares count on top and, and the bottom is the stock price trend. So that's how we go over it on daily basis. In terms of uh, how many reduced, Salesforce takes the biggest hit. They have, uh, they continue to reduce their position in it, almost gone completely, 94% down today, um, in terms of number of shares. And 
the stock price is also down to 231 they're probably taking that profit and putting it elsewhere alibaba they suddenly sh suddenly sold 35 percent or 36 percent almost share price is down to 240 snap uh sold today uh almost 31 percent stock sold um and the stock price also went down child schwab amazon wow they sold a lot of amazon today flare systems i don't know how to pronounce this one light speed pinterest uh sold a lot of pinterest today looks like 18 percent of it down autodex it sold that to taiwan rockwell automation so that's the biggest uh, moves by number of shares but let's see what moved the needle on the market value so they added twitter today and uh, it added the most value to their um, overall fund so 134 million a lot of negatives today a lot of negatives today we'll go over it baidu also added value today um, looks like they bought a lot of share that's why not because the stock price stock price went down now look at these um, lots of companies went down today some of them some of them they sold some of them stock price many almost all of them has lower stock price today so starting with tesla which is let's see 682 it closed at 682 and uh, overall position market value down by 323 million teladoc health again the biggest position so these three are in the top five uh, tesla is number one teladoc is number two in their overall position and those two moved the needle quite a bit in the wrong direction. Roku is probably number fourth there, Roku or Square. So their top investments have gone down today. Looks like they sold a lot of shares too, uh, for Roku for sure. Teladoc, no, they bought Teladoc. They sold a little bit of Tesla, looks like. So that's, uh, that's what they have. Pacifica Biosciences is another company they continue to sell and the stock price has also gone down alibaba we it showed up in the above chart as well pinterest zillow um it's a bloodbath out there guys today again maybe because a lot of people went to gme today uh, bought a lot of gamestop hoping it to continue to squeeze and squeeze and get them uh, profits there but uh yeah so that's uh, that's the picture that's how it looks today a lot of red a uh, lot of negative Yep. So Tencent, DocuSign, all of them negative. So that's biggest moves by share count and by market value. Let's go to new companies. No, nothing added today. Let's go to uh, the trends. And we always check trends of three companies. Uh, let's uh, go do that quickly. Tesla, start here. Yep. They sold just a little bit, 0.2%. So down to Oh, yeah, it's uh, it, this value is rounded up, so still showing 5.2 million shares. But the stock price went down, they sold some. And uh, let's take a look at, let's see by EDF if it tells a different story. It's probably same. No, looks like, uh, yeah, different story slightly. Well, they sold in ARK K fund and they bought in ARK W fund and they sold in ARK Q a little bit too. So, yeah, that's the story in Tesla. Let's take a look at nano dimensions quickly nano dimensions um yeah they further sold some so let's take a look at the totals instead yep they sold a 0.8 percent again the stock price is down to ten dollar twenty cents that's strange yeah um the market overall is down so nano dimension is not special and uh, continues to go down let's take a look at bitcoin so bitcoin fund that they have yep they are also they sold a little bit more looks like and uh, the market value also went down a little bit so yeah a lot of volatility in the wrong direction um today in the market but uh, that's how the market is supposed to be there have to be uh, days that are up and then there has to be some correction so yeah um so that's that's all for today folks thank you so much for listening in thank you so much for liking and subscribing um, this is new channel uh, shout out to all my um, all the youtubers who inspired me and Kathy Wood obviously who inspired all of us as well um, so yeah thank you so much see you tomorrow